What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video. I have another shoe review, so let's get into this video. What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre from All Things Sports. Thank you for stopping by as always. So happy to see you here and I have a brand new shoe review for you today. Another pair of runners. Let's check out what's inside this box. So, in front of me I have the Adidas Pulse Boost HD shoes. Now HD stands for high density. We're going to flip open the box. Nothing special, just the shoes themselves. We'll take the cardboard out right away. There we go guys, first look at the Pulse Boost HD. It does actually say Boost HD down there, I'll get a shot of that for you. HD stands for high density, not high definition, high density boost foam. So the difference being that this boost is a lot firmer compared to the Ultra Boost models that you and I are so familiar with at this point. The Ultra Boost has been out for a long time. They're super comfortable, probably one of the most comfortable shoes on the market, very cushioned midsole. This one came about because a lot of runners are actually saying that, very high performance runners at least, were saying that they actually like a firmer feel when running. So Adidas did release the Pulse Boost, this high density boost foam to firm up the midsole to give runners the option. If you like the cushion sensation, go for the Ultra Boost, but if you prefer a more firm sensation, go for the Pulse Boost HD. When it comes to uppers, this is made out of Adidas' prime knit material, so it is this knit textile upper. These black stitching areas that you see right here on both the lateral and medial side of the shoe, those are non-stretch zones. So they are there to give you that extra support that you need when changing direction and anything like that. This is not really a multi-court shoe, so it's not one that you're going to be playing a lot of sports in and you know changing directions and all things like that, but it is a running shoe. So with running, obviously does come some change in direction, not necessarily hard cuts, but they are giving you this to give you that extra little bit of support. The prime knit upper, the knitted material, we're familiar with that by now. It's very comfortable, it stretches, it's breathable, and overall this is a really comfortable fitting shoe. I do like the midsole. It is noticeably firmer compared to an Ultra Boost, so it is noticeably different in that regard, but it does give you a unique offering. It's a little bit different than the Ultra Boost, so if you are a big runner and a high performance runner, you do have some cool options here from Adidas. Both very solid runners running shoes but giving you slightly different feels and, and sensations on feet. So that is pretty much the upper. The colorway at least with this model is really quite bright. I did like this orange material with the black. I think it looks really good. It's not this deep Halloween orange. It's more of a highlighter orange so it is quite unique and it does look really good in my opinion. The heel is quite comfortable. It does have a really unique shape. I don't find it to be annoying or uncomfortable but it is a really different shape this will overlap on top of your ankle bone instead of cutting underneath it like most shoes do and overall i do think it's a really comfortable offering and again if you are you know a high performance runner and you're interested in running shoes it would be worth a look at the pulse boost compared to the ultra boost just giving you different feels on feet and i have to say that the upper of this material is a real win. I think the upper is the highlight of this shoe right here. I love the shape of it and it does feel really comfortable on feet. So let's move on to the on feet portion of the video. We'll take a look at these things on feet and how they size up. So let's check those out. When sliding this shoe on feet for the first time, they are noticeably different compared to the Ultra Boost as I said before. The midsole is a little bit thinner, that's for sure, and it is definitely slightly firmer. That is a definite as well. The upper is definitely the highlight of the shoe. It really is flexible, it's quite comfortable. The lacing system's unique, but it doesn't annoy you in any way. The, the shape of the heel, like I said, is that's different as well, but overall, I don't find it to be uncomfortable in any way like that. Uh, you do notice those black areas slightly, just giving you that extra bit of support on the lateral and medial sides of the foot, right near the big toe and the pinky toe. I do like that the upper is very comfortable. It's both flexible, and snug at the same time. It's a really good balance between the two feelings. So you won't find that these shoes get too tight on you. You don't find any discomfort, but they are gonna be snug at the same time. So that is a real win. And then the outsole is, you know, this new continental pattern. It does give you a nice rubber feeling on feet. It's gonna give you all the traction that you need and there's nothing to complain about there. And overall, I would go true to size with this model. I think it fits really, really well. 
go with your regular running shoe size and you won't have any issues like that. They will fit most people and that is pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Please smash that like button. You're already here. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything from all things sport. I'll be back soon with a brand new review. Thank you for stopping by as always. And until the next video, I'm signing off. Mike McIntyre, all things sports. Catch you next time. Peace.